guys, Ryan back here with another one. Today is an exciting day. I'm going to be heading back to the hot pot place I went with my parents. I've got a friend of mine uh, visiting me in Birmingham, so we're going to go back there. I showed it him and it instantly was like, yeah, we need to go there. So that's the plan of action today. We're also going to go into the city centre, um, just casual stuff. Yeah, looking forward to today. It's going to be good. And hopefully, you'll enjoy the content. So my mate's arrived, he's brought us some back for but this is pretty decent, extremely decent actually. Yeah, they like these little cigar back lovers, pistachio, almond, yeah, it's just, yeah. This is actually quite top quality back lover for box back lover, if that makes sense. But um, if ever you guys see this anywhere, I would uh, definitely grab a box too. So guys, just got back to the hot pot place we went to last week. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, definitely, I mean, there's no high expectations because we've already been here, but just to show you guys how good this place is. And as well, we've come in uh, to town and it's just really busy. I don't know why, we might, it took us like an hour to drive in and only live 15 minutes away. But however, alhamdulillah, I'm here. We're gonna get some good hot pot, um, show you guys all the best stuff. It is just heaving in here. Um, not sure what we're gonna get. Definitely get a few different meats. Everything is halal to let you know. The only thing that isn't, I believe, is the duck blood for obvious reasons. And then there's, I think, frog's legs as well, but everything else, fully halal, all good. Um, and it's served for you to cook yourself, so there's no sort of cross-contamination at all. So, yeah, no worries on that side. Yeah guys, so what's good as well here is you've got your, your own sauce station, so on top of getting your hot pot and your meats, you've also got um, a station to make your, I generally just do like sesame oil, chilli sauce, um, sesames, all together to make one of the uh, the original sort of Sichuan sauces. They also serve prawn crackers and a few little vegetables like spring onion, uh, garlic, chilli. So yeah, we've just ordered for food, ordered quite a bit. As usual, um, we've gone for a few variations of meat, a lot of beef, and then some lamb as well to go with that, and then a mushroom platter. Weirdly enough, we only came here last week, but they've changed a lot of the recipes already. So like the spicy bone marrow broth has got a different uh, flavor to it. I believe it's got more, not more spice, but more, flavour to it so I'm, I'm looking forward to that because I really enjoyed that last week and then we've gone for the old hen golden chicken broth and the papaya and tomato broth which I didn't try last week but it's it's one of the recommended broths so we've gone for that this time I'm really excited this this is just another it's an amazing culinary experience so the hot pot has arrived it's just currently boiling we're right in our meats i've also got um my own personal dip so i've done uh, sesame paste chili oil soy sauce ginger and garlic and some sesame seeds with spring onion on top yeah this sauce is definitely the best it's got the nuttiness from the um, sesame paste and a little bit of a heat from the chili oil and then just a sort of aftertaste of the soy sauce ginger and garlic is Amazing, but like homemade uh, Moomin food speciality. Yeah, it's starting to bubble away now. We've got some of the meats, the beef rolls, and then over there we've got mushroom platter. Oh, getting a bit of smoke from the hot pot. The ribeye and the lamb that's just arrived. And then we've got the handmade noodles over there. These are amazing. These, when you cook them, they taste just like uh, ramen noodles. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you get the, the noodles. I mean, I recommend everything I've got to be honest, but the noodles, you'll see in a minute, when they cook, they're just like that al dente ramen noodle type texture. Plus they're handmade, so can't go wrong there, can you? So yeah, I'm gonna try the uh, old hen broth with the uh, beef rolls. All it needs is 30 seconds, and that goodness is ready to eat.
They're just so good. The fattiness from the beef, it's almost like like bacon in a way, because it's that sort of thin texture, but it's it's a bit fatty. And then you've got the, um, the aftertaste of the chicken broth, it's just amazing. But next, I need to try the uh, spicy bone marrow broth. Just like a, a jacuzzi, a meat jacuzzi. In fact, it's even a spice jacuzzi with the amount of chilies in there. It's just insane. So yeah, this is gonna have a pack a punch of heat and flavor. Literally disintegrating in it. So good. It's hot, it's spicy, it's got full of flavor. It's not just the the heat from the chilies you can taste, but it's also the spices like the Sichuan, the numbingness from the Sichuan, and then just loads of different different flavors throughout. It just it's as if the meat has been marinated for for hours on upon end, but it hasn't. It's literally just sat in that broth for thirty seconds. It's just it's crazy how much texture it adds to the meat. So now we're going to try some of the uh, the ribeye. So yeah, I've been mainly trying the um, the chili bone marrow broth. I'm going to try the papaya and tomato in a second. But let's try a bit of this uh, spicy ribeye first. There's a bit more chewiness to it than the um, the, the beef rolls. But it's got a strong beefy flavour. I actually prefer the rolls, weirdly enough, because normally ribeye is pretty good, but. Yeah, I think the, the rolls are a lot better. Well, guys, there's just these uh, lamb skewers that I've just got here. They, they look in amazing. I think they've got a strong... Oh, actually, I can smell it now. There's a strong cumin flavour coming from it. That is definitely like Eastern, uh, Western Chinese type food, like Uyghur. So these skewers look quite stacked, not just in uh, meat, but in spices too. A lot of cumin on there. This is definitely like Western... Chinese type skewers. I believe they're already cooked, so I don't have to put them in the whole pot, but knowing me, I probably will get, try it out. I don't know if that's what I should do or not, but it's gonna happen nonetheless. Apologies if that's uh, not the thing to do, but I'm, I'm intrigued. Hmm. <laughs> That is insane. I've never eaten something like that before. It's got quite a crunchy exterior and then like a, it's just juicy in the middle, cr crispy outside. And then it's got all that nice flavor from cumin. And I don't really like cumin that much. So this is a really different to anything I've tried, any skewers I've tried anyway before. A nice touch on these skewers as well is that they're quite fatty. So you've just got an explosion of fat that comes out with that extra cumin. It, just mixes it so well. So next I'm gonna try some of the lamb slices. This time, oh, I'm absolutely failing on that. This time I'm gonna put it in the papaya and tomato broth. Not sure what to expect from this broth because I've never tried it before. I like papaya, I like tomato, so I'm imagining it's gonna be quite sweet. Yeah, I've got expectations that it's gonna be quite a fruity broth rather than a, a savory or hot broth. Nice taste of the lamb. I'm not a big fan on that broth though. I'm more of like savory than sweet. Um, unless it's desserts, of course, as you guys know. Yeah, I, I think the golden hen and the um, chili bone broth are the better ones for sure. Yeah, I can't get enough of these beef rolls in the uh, chili, chili bone marrow broth. It's just out of this world. So I'm going to try some of the noodles now. These noodles, when they're cooked in the broth, just al dente, it's just... And because they're handmade, you've got that extra layer of feeling that it's... I don't know, it's just unique. You have to come here to, to experience it. 
Because noodles are just noodles at the end of the day, but these noodles are just it's something else. Yeah, my wife and my mate are having a go at me because um, I shouldn't be using my chopsticks. I should be using these um, metal skewers, which probably make my life a lot easier. But I'm trying to show you guys the true, true uh, Chinese experience here. Time to try these delicious noodles. Amazing, just perfectly al dente. Nice. Nice flavor from that chicken broth. It's some of the best noodles I've ever had. And I've been to a lot of ramen places and a lot of homemade Chinese noodle places. This is just, and I, I can make them myself, so it's even better. Quick tip is to um, put the noodles in the, uh, the homemade sauce, or homemade, the Moomin food sauce. So good. So on top of the, the broth, the flavor of the broth from the noodles, you've also got the sesame paste, a bit of that chili oil, garlic, and just amplifies the noodles even better than what they were originally. Go chase it down with a bit more of these skewers. So guys, I'm gonna chill for a bit now, make the most of my mate being here, and then obviously time with the missus. Yeah, I'll put a few more clips in before we leave, but yeah. Definitely check this place out if ever you're in the Chinese quarter of Birmingham. Yeah, just excellent, really nice stuff, great food, great hospitality as well. All round, five out of five, 10 out of 10, whatever. It, it's just, yeah, amazing. So guys, we've also got some shrimp. Um, still felt a bit peckish and I wanted a bit of seafood, so we've gone for these. So my wife's put it in the papaya and tomato, but I'm, you know where I'm gonna put it. It wouldn't be moving food if it didn't go in the spice. Not too strong shrimp flavor. I mean, to be honest, once you put it in that, that chili broth, it's, it's over. The taste is just chili, which is a good thing. I believe it's the only halal hot pot place in Birmingham. Well, it could even, in fact, be the only halal hot pot place in the UK. I haven't heard of any in London. I haven't researched it, so there might be options. You guys definitely need to come here. Even with the decoration, it just takes you to another place. You feel yeah, you, you would not feel like you're in Birmingham at all. Also, what I'm quite keen on doing is I like taking the um, the prawn crackers. It's quite weird actually, because normally they're white, but these are brown. Probably makes more sense because shrimp aren't exactly white. Then I just dip it in the, uh, the Moomin food sauce. So good. Simple, but yeah. I, since I've been a kid, I've always loved to just dip prawn crackers in sauce. I don't know why, but yeah. Are you guys like that at all? But I don't know, but it's just so good. So guys, finished, not too full. Um, feeling peckish for dessert now though, but I'm not gonna go too mad. We'll probably just go to Tesco or something. Oh no, I just remembered my mates brought me some baklava, so that might just sort me for the evening, I think. A little bit of tea and that. Yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.